Hi everyone, my name is Johanna Woods, and today I plan on talking with you about how global climate change can be so hard to really predict and really look into the future and see how it's going to kind of go, how it's going to affect our climate, our global aspects of things such as our oceans, our atmospheres, our sea level changes, and all of that. Well, there are actually three sources of uncertainty um, that we scientists have to deal with a lot of. Um, is We actually don't have complete understandings of how these physical climate change systems actually work. There's so many dynamic um, steps that we have to deal with, but I'm going to explain a little bit more about that in a minute. Also, there's so many large global systems um, that are super complex and super maximized in terms of what we can do to understand them. They're so large that they're difficult to understand, such as like the atmosphere, um, gas circulation, and oceans and things like that. So also, um, humans in the future, we don't know what we're going to do. That's our last certainty is what are we going to do in 20 years? We have no clue. So um, I'm going to focus on why, um, why, it's, uh, why it's so hard to predict based on these systems, we don't understand them. So um, that's what I'm going to focus on. It's really hard to understand. There's so many small sections of these systems that we don't understand. There's so many dynamic directions that they go in. And some parts can be larger and some parts can be smaller. And some can be so minute that we never see them. That they There's a certain part of carbon that's influxed from here that we cannot see, but it affects the entire system. But we just can't see it because it's so the system is so dynamic that we don't understand it. So that can make it really difficult to look into how it's going to affect the future and how it's going to affect the sea level change and the temperatures. We don't know because we can't fully comprehend how this system, how this carbon flux system totally works because we don't see all of these changes just in one picture. It's, it, you really have to think outside the box and that's what really makes it difficult is to really fully be able to look at all aspects of it because we don't even know. So that's something that we're constantly working on. Science is always upgrading our knowledge as to what we can do in the future to find out more about these systems. Well, I hope that that all makes sense today. And if you have any questions, please contact us. We love to talk to you guys in the public about how we are trying to figure this out. Um, thank you guys and I hope you enjoy and hope you have a good day.